Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading a book to you. So it's called The Solar System. Let's get started. It's by, okay, no, we found. Oh, here. It's designed, this by El Emily Bone, designed by Helen Edmonds and Will Dawes, D Dawes, hope I'm saying that right, illustrated by Terry Paster and Tim Haggerty. Um... Yeah. Now let's get started at so, so it's called So let's go in the content real quick and so let's just start from the beginning. We don't need a concept right now. There is this planet. It's a huge round lump of rock floating in space. The Earth is one of the one of eight planets, one of the eight planets. Grammar mistake, I think. I I don't know why I'm correct. The Earth is one of eight planets that travel around the sun. The sun and the planets are called solar system. This is what Earth looks like from space. So over here. This is the Earth from outside, in, from space. Like, you know, all the icy parts are white. And it's mostly made of water, so all this blue is water. I know you're surprised how is water, f you know, flowing in the air? I don't know. So, because of the atmosphere, of course. And there's also, also deserty places and grassy places. Around. So, what's out there? The planets in the solar system move around the sun. S pieces of rock called asteroids travel around the sun too. As well as planets, there are, all, are lots of other things that move around the sun. From specks of dust to dwarf planets such as Pluto. So here... This is the sun that is following. So all this is what happens in space. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and, Plu and Neptune, and Pluto, which is dwarf planet, so it doesn't count, of a count as a planet. It used to be a planet, but now we're just going to cancel that out. Poor Pluto. Yes, and this is an asteroid belt. So... So, the biggest planet over here is Jupiter. Jupiter is almost as, is bigger than Saturn and all of these big planets over here. And if we lived on Jupiter, we would probably weigh a lot less than we, than we weigh on Earth. Like, so like, it's because of gravity, you know? Because if we were on, probably if we were on, Earth on the moon. If you were thirty pounds on the Earth, then you'd probably only be, you know, thirteen or three pounds on the moon. You know. Okay, moving on. Oh, I moved backwards. Okay, moving on. How it started. Scientists think that the solar system formed millions and millions of years ago. Billions and billions, trillions and trillions. It began as a huge cloud of gas and dust in space like this one. Like this, this gas over here is how it started, they believe. Oh my god, my chair is not even proper. If, I, if you want me to read with a YouTuber, then... Feel free, like, you know, Aishan is, you know, one of the YouTubers I record the most with. Unlike my other friend. I don't know why I'm saying, like, 
what I'm trying to say over here is that my other friend over here, like, who is all almost the same age as me, you know, he doesn't really, you know, talk to me much, so we can't do much videos with him, you know. Okay. So, here's the gas. I'm going to explore a little bit longer. I wish I could zoom in, but I'm using my computer for recording. I should probably show you this thing. Okay, just now let's move on. Okay. Now let's look at these tiny parts over here. Here, here. Here, 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 here. Oh my god, it's my chairs. I wish I I wish I had this more closer to me, you know? Okay, I'll go on. I just don't know what I'm doing in this video. Okay, let's move on. The swirling cloud of gas and dust it slowly got thicker and thicker. What we're reading about is this one over here. So now we're gonna go to how the sun's religion had sun's religion. Sun's life. No. Um Sun's 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 beginning? How the sun was born? Okay, let's just stop that. Okay. Part of the cloud heated up, making a hot ball of gas. This became the sun. So part of the cloud it burned up like it ferociously like turned into lava and fire. And then it turned into sun. That must have been a lot of fire and rage. I'm sorry, Mr. Cloud. So, so the sun was, sun is like trillions of years old. It's older than all the planets. And I, I expect most people know this, but the sun, it's a star. So, so did the, oh, I think I found, I found this out. So, Cl the heat of the cloud and stars mixed up, which created a burning rage of fire, and all of, most of stars, oh my god, I figured this out, guys, as you can see, over here, there are more stars than over here, yeah. so that means part, so that means that the cloud and stars, they burned, when it raged, stars came above, and a lot of stars created a gigantic, gigantic, gigantic ball of fire and lava, which created the sun. Nice one. Okay, third one, over here. Over millions of years, gas and dust spun around the sun. That's that's how the planets were created. So, first the sun was born. Then, all the specks that came from you know all around the place, like they came from like many other planets that were originally formed. With all these dust specks, and they broke apart, and all these specks came apart. You know, sometimes I think Earth is abomination, yes. Because, you know, it's different from all planets. Like, as water, as grass, it has. It's, it's abomination from the space, but... Yeah. Let's just continue. I don't feel good seeing about this. Okay. Gradually, the 
dust and gas join together to make the planets. So all of the all the dust specks created into one planet, then another planet it took me a lot of time to get to become, you know. Okay, next up in the middle. The sun is a massive ball of burning gas called a star. It gives the planets all their light and heat. You may not know this, but the sun is actually very small. For us, very big, but there are much bigger stars than the sun. The sun, the sun is one of the big ones. The sun looks so big because it is closer to Earth than from the Earth to Earth than our other stars. This is why it looks its surface looks like close up. It's all right here. As you can see, this looks sun also looks like some sort of abomination. Okay, jets. So this is the jet over here. You see this burning red thing that coming out of the sun? That's called jet. Jets of hot gas shoot out of the fall out and fall back in long loops. So like it's like it's it's gas. Like you know goes out like it goes out and then you know it, that's how the sun, you know? A hot gas that comes out from the in the middle of the sun, or at the sides, and it bursts out. Over here, over here. Let's read this. Some parts of the sun are not as hot as the rest. These are called sunspots. Over here, like here, 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 here. Over here, huge explosions. Explosions. Not explosions. What am I saying? Explosions? Explosions are not even a thing. It's explosions, people. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Huge explosions known as solar flares are known as solar flares. Flails? 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 Are you serious? Am I saying flails? Flail? Fl what? Fl flails are weapons, not explosions. It's flares, flares, flares. Okay, let's read this tiny caption. Is it caption? Of course it's caption. Never look directly at the sun. It, it Its light is so... Strong, you could damage your eyes. Sorry for that long things. Those, that long... That okay, moving, moving, I'm dead. No, no, I'm speechless. Yes, I'm speechless. Let's continue. Moving planets. Each planet travels along its own path or orbit around the sun. They take different lengths of time to move all of the way around. So, this is sun. Everything orbits around the sun. First starts from Mercury to Venus. So, these are the rings that they orbit around. As you can see, we're not looking at this page, we're looking at this page. So, you can see, like... How the sun is always in the middle because they are. It's like the sun is their boss, so they have to run around the boss because they, it's like the sun saying, "Run around me," you know. So if Mercury's, if Mercury's gonna, is Mer Mercury's is like he's go he goes in a ring. Every single planet goes in a ring. So they always. So this is called orbit. How this is how they orbit. This kind of reminds me of, of what's the game called? But I have my phone over here. Uh, what's that game called? Oh my god, I forgot the passcode. Okay. 
uh, space flight simulator. Yes, yes, space flight simulator. So, space flight simulator. It really reminds me of space flight simulator. Let me show you the. If you don't know this, um, this this is the game. See this? You know you can build your rocket. You know. You know you can build your rocket stuff. You know? Then you can like you know blast your rocket. This is the earth. And this is why we have to go around. So you're going to space. Yep. That's what it reminds me about. Okay, let's read this little article. Article. It's not article, it's caption, right? If it is it caption? Well, let's just take it as caption. Okay. So it says to the earth. It takes 365 days and nights to orbit the sun. This is one year. I'm sure everyone watching this knows this. Okay, continuing. Moving on, not continuing. Okay. As the planets travel, they all spin around. When each planet spins, different parts have day or night. I can explain this. So the Earth, it so half of it is dark. Over here is the dark side where it's night. Over here is where it's you know day. So over here, guys, in the middle, you know, it's sunset or sun. You know, it's side. Did you know the Earth is sideways? So. On the other side of the sun, this would probably be sunset. On the other side, it'll be sun. Sun. What's it called? Sun. Sunday? No. Um, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Uh, sunrise. Yes, sunrise. Okay. Okay. So that's what. It's called. Okay. This part, so let's read these little captions over here. This part is dark. This part, this part, this part, over here. This part is dark because the sun, sun's light cannot reach it. This is night. See, guys, did you know that the sun is not, is too far to reach the entire earth? Yes. So, guys, you know, when the, when the Earth is, so let's say, over here in Africa, I can see. So in Africa, this would probably be a daytime. Over here in America, North America, South America, it would probably be night. But, is, since the sun is, so the Earth is far away from the Sun. Sun won't be a so the Sun won't be able to reach here, you know. And Sun is also known very small, you know. There are other bigger. So Sun, it's actually kind of weird. If this, if the, if the Earth was the closest to the Sun, would would the Sun? Make everything day and permanently day? Permanently day? I think so. Okay, so let's move on. This caption over here. The parts facing the sun are lit up. This is the planet's day. Next one, Mercury. So this is not a part of this chapter, but it's a new series. You know, series? Series. Series? 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 Are you serious? Why would I say series? 
Thank you for more dramatic sounds. Okay. So it's not series, but you know, I think, I think you can understand this. It's like showing all the plans descriptions now in these new chapters. Wait one second. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. Its rocky surface is covered in holes called craters. Most of these were made by rocks crashing into the planet from space. So Mercury is full of craters because asteroids hit it and also create also meteors hit it. So this is how it goes. So first the meteor crashes, bursts, and creates a crater. Guys, now let's read this these three captions. Three three captions. I'm not I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure I'm not sure anymore. Okay. Fast moving rocks hit Mercury's surface, making deep holes. This is part one of this. Three out of okay, okay. I'm not even gonna try. Okay, lots of pieces of rock and dust flew up the holes. That's part two out of three. Don't question why I'm saying this. And this is a picture over here. This is the other picture. Okay, the rock and dust settled in thick layers around the craters. So this is now the crater. Now let's look at this photo. In this photo, you can see lots of round craters on Mercury's surface. The surface, the surface of Mercury is more than four times hotter than boiling water. So it must be really hot. If it was living, it'd probably already be dead. As we do sport. <laughs> I don't think we should ever visit that place. Hot planet. This is actually the hottest planet, even though I can explain this to you. So the clouds, they make it hottest. So like Venus. So its 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 surface was made of stone, as clouds, which created to become even more hotter by the times. So it blocks out all the air. So it can't become. So it can't. So it can't leave its state. So if it's hot and wants to leave and become cold again, it can't. So it becomes more hotter when the sun reaches it. So it, so it becomes more hot, so it, that's how it become, it's become more hot, hot than Mercury. Hot planet. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. It's so hot because it is covered in a thick layer of clouds. That's what I mean by the clouds won't let it go. This is the surface of Venus. The thick clouds make the sky look orange. Yes, the, the burns. The surface of the planet is hard rock. Okay, now let's read these two captions. The sun's rays pass through the clouds and the planet's surface warms up. This is how it works. This is how the cycle I would say the clouds stop the heat from escaping so the planet gets hotter and hotter that's how the, it works Venus is so hot its surface glows in the dark that's surprising you know now let's look at Earth living Earth the Earth is made of rock and surrounded by water and gases it is the only planet where life is known to exist. In this photo, you can see big lakes and high rocky mountains on the Earth's surface. The Earth has the right mixture of air, heat, and water for things to live. A layer of gases around Earth gives living things the air they need to breathe. The sun warms the planet, so plants grow in sunlight, making food for animals, guys. More than half of the Earth is covered in water. That's why, you know, I told you so. Everything needs water to live. So, guys, I think that's going to end it, but thank you, guys.
so guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next time. And remember to like and subscribe.